If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. This is Screencast Sessions with your host, Seth Goldstein. Sponsorship provided by GetFlywheel.com, Wistia.com, and Zoho Mail. Check them out today. From PhillyTech.org, I want to do. I'm doing a, going to do a, a written review of two Twitter apps that I really like for Android. One is Falcon. And one is Talon. I'm going to go through briefly what I like about each right now in this video, and then we'll I'll rent more in the blog post going forward. Falcon Pro, um, it's been around for a while. It's only but a goodie. Their new pricing model is that it you pay per your account. So it's it's I think it's two ninety nine for the first account, and it's a buck ninety nine for each additional account. So it is a little bit more expensive, but in my opinion, it's worth it. And one thing I like about um. Falcon is that the tweet is above the image, which is big big for me. Also, when you open it up, you see the image. You can also go read the article by swiping to the left. You can also go back by swip, swip, swiping back to the right. And you can also view, view the replies. As you can see down here, you can see down here there's um, the replies if, if there's a conversation going around the blog post. Um, another thing I like about it is that you can pull from the side and see all your columns that you can set up. One thing I like is that you don't have to look at the timeline. One of the things I didn't like about Talon in the beginning was that you it was timeline based, and you had to look at the timeline. And you can view the list, but it wasn't exactly intuitive. I don't use for most of my accounts. I don't use the timeline. I use lists to keep track of people that I want. I curate my own list that I can follow. I don't follow the timeline. If on smaller accounts, I do have the timeline up. As you can see, I have a bunch of different you know lists running here, and then I'll, then it does move on to the next account eventually um, so there's a fully tech org account and then I have some others here as well one thing I do like about Talon is that it lets you also save your searches in the in the sidebar here as well we can go to add new column and what you can see here is you can add another column and they will give you a bunch of different options and so here's all the all the Twitter accounts I have in here you also provides with some demo lists as well if you wanted to try out First, before paying the two ninety nine for the first account, um, I like it. It's very clean. One thing I don't like is it is kind of dark, and there's no way to really make it light that I found. But the settings are are very, very robust. Um, under interactions, you can set the you know the, the smarter interaction refresh on Wi Fi only. Of course, I'm on a Wi Fi only tablet, so you're only going to see that. Um, so you can play sounds, ringtone, vibrate. You can do the display how, to, how it looks, username and handles, or just the username or just the handles, or you know whatever. Um, so that's really like I like it. Um, very responsive developer as well. Now let's go out to um, Talon. Talon's a very slick interface. It's a very uh, material design like. I really like it. Um, what they recently did in, in Talon Plus is they now allow you to only look at your List and, and set up your columns accordingly, which I really like because I can swipe back and forth. One thing I found that found is that Talon is very, very much a little bit more responsive. It doesn't hang quite as much, doesn't force quit, doesn't give you an error as much. But the Pro, you know, but the Falcon Pro three is very much in beta, so that's one thing you have to keep in mind. Um, one of the things I don't like about Fal about Talon, they're all birds, so it gets a little confusing. Um, is that you know, for let's say Matt Collier here. His image is above his post, which means that I'm so used to other Twitter apps, with which the image is below the post, that I think the growth hackers, this image belongs to growth hackers. Yes, to their credit, they do have a line here separating the post, so if there's no line, obviously it belongs to the post below. Uh, one thing, let's say I want to read the article here. It pulls up the, the, the image here, and then, now the thing, but there's no, it doesn't show in line the actual blog post. You have to click here, you have to click here, it's not always responsive, click here, 
and it opens up their internal browser, which is nice. So this doesn't go out to Chrome necessarily, but I'm now it's an extra step for me, in my opinion. I can't just look at the article. Another thing that it took me a while to figure out is that you can quote the article by going to here. There's a quote, which also can be a retweet. This the little arrow is is the reply button, which is not standard for Twitter, so it made me confused. And you can view it on the web by clicking here, which is is a web view, which is nice. It's very slick. But if you want to favorite the article, you click favorite up here and retweet right here. I don't know why they don't use the standard versions here of the Twitter app. It's this I guess they want to be a little bit different. One thing I do like about this is let's say I want to look at let's say Jody Rains, my co-host on Social Media Addicts. What it does is it lets you favorite the user, so there's actual separate list feature in here only for Talon that allows you to view just your favorite user. So it's another additional list you can put together. Um, you can read a little bit about her, see the follow, see the stats, see her tweets all online. You can do this in Falcon as well, but um, it's a little, it's very pretty here. Um, you can also view the trends as well, local trends, world trends, people, and nearby tweets. They do have a do have a directory of different um, of, the, of the Twitter people list, um, and the replies are over here. And it, it, it generally this doesn't hang on me. I only have one account set up on here right now. I will add more in, which will allow me to really test it side by side. Um, I do very much like Talon as well, and, and I'm really torn between the two because I like both. But one thing I do like about Talon is that there's a night mode. So during the day, it's white. You know, it's a white light, you know, light. During the nighttime, you can set the time to night mode. I can set night mode to be, let's say, I want night mode to start at 11 o'clock. PM and it actually uses the mineral material design elements here and I want it to go back to being the white version at seven o'clock AM. You can do twenty four hour timestamp if you want pictures below tweets. You can put it below tweets, which is nice. Inline pictures as well. Um, so you can I take that back, you can actually put um, it below and you can also do a widget theme, which is very nice. And there is a nice widget for both of these apps. Advanced settings does allow you to enable um, Emojis, um, which is nice. Also, the top down mode, the time will never save your position. Quote style. So, when you want a quote, you can do, you can set it as quote, the person quoting them versus a retweet. Um, tweet marker service is very nice. It also, both of them have tweet longer in it. So, if you want to write more than 140 characters, you can do so. Um, memory management is nice. So, they can say, you know, clear cache, backup settings, restore settings. So, you can backup settings and create new backup there. Maximum number of tweets to show. Store in the database, you can set, you know, 500, 2000, whatever. I usually keep it at the low end so it doesn't really slow things down here as well. So, this was a quick run through of the two apps. I will write a more in, in depth article of the two and my opinion on it. I'm just not sure when that's going to happen. So, I wanted to make sure that I got this out first and really shows you what my thoughts are on these two awesome Twitter apps. There are others out there that are nice, you know, honorable mentions are Tweetings, which I like, but it's a little buggy, in my opinion, but it's a very pretty app. Hootsuite is great if you're using the Hootsuite, you're in the Hootsuite ecosystem, it, 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 whereas these two, Talon and Falcon, are only Twitter only. Hootsuite lets you use Facebook and LinkedIn and whatnot as well. So, anyway, this has been Seth from phillytech.org. Um, check us out online. Check out our sponsors as well and go visit them um, we love them over there and they really help us make the show we put on the network possible so guys i hope this was great um, if you want to reach out to me you can reach me at seth s-e-t-h at phillytech.org take care guys bye-bye